Morning, C3 in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, had a pretty wild trade overnight. We started beans up 10 higher, then they broke 30 cents, and now they're just 3 cents lower. Corn for most of the night uh, and wheat were up about 2 cents. Right now, corn's up 9 cents and wheat's up 6 cents. Outside markets, the dollar's a mix, crude's higher, gold's lower. Uh, we continue to see 30-year bonds higher, and the U.S. stock market should open lower. Uh, the weekly USDA crop sale, export sales data is delayed till tomorrow on, because of Monday's holiday. Uh, we did note that the seven-day rainfall map shows most of the rains up in Canada, Minnesota, and Iowa. Overnight, we had some good rains across uh, parts of North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Central Illinois, and Indiana, and also in the southeast. It's raining right now in Iowa, and those rains are supposed to move into Central Illinois today. The 6 to 10 day and the 8 to 14 day maps hint of normal to above temps, but normal rains. The 11 to 15 day maps, though, are mixed, and the consensus is for normal to above temps, but kind of not sure about the rainfall yet. We did see uh, one closely watched grain analyst come out this morning and said that, according to them, heat returns to the Midwest after July 17th. So I think that's why we're seeing the market rally from the overnight lows. Uh, the Brazilian CONAB group estimated their corn crop at 69 million tons. Previously, they were at 76. They estimated their bean crop at 95. They were previously at 95.6. Yesterday, the funds were sellers of beans, corn, and wheat, and continue to whittle down some of their long positions in corn, beans, meal, and also adding to their wheat short. Uh, it was interesting that Wire Services reported yesterday that from the start of 2016, the largest world banks have lost one quarter of their combined market value or $465 billion. Uh, this due to slower world economy, uncertainty over U.S. interest rates, oil price volatility, and the recent pre-exit vote. So um, we're dealing with good weather over the next seven days, but questionable weather after that. We're also uh, look, be watching the USDA July 12th supply and demand report and see uh, if they increase bean demand they're expected to increase corn and wheat carryouts. We did hear that China was a good buyer of U.S. beans on yesterday's break. And there's also countries looking to buy U.S. meal. So um, got a lot of moving parts here. Weather is always still the most important thing. Money flow obviously has been important over the last couple of days. And then we're trying to figure out long term what the economies are going to do globally and what that means to risk. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM Radium Investor Services and have a safe and profitable trading day.